My paper and this presentation is on the malignant, uncontrollable impact of systemic racism in the 20th century, as told by Richard Wright's literature. The two pieces of literature I'm focusing on are going to be Black Boy, which is a memoir from Richard Wright, and The Man Who Was Almost a Man, which is a short story. It's a fictional one. Um, and I'm focusing on these two specifically because they have very identical themes in a number of ways. Um, and most importantly, they tell a story of young African Americans trying to find their place among their people um, in their community around them, regardless of those people's race. And none of them, <laughs> I mean, basically none of the surrounding community helps them on their paths. Um, and there's two different paths they're going on and I'll explain that. For Richard Wright in his memoir, he as a very young boy was super interested in literature and learning. Um, and it's a story of him fighting to support that interest. Um, there are people in his family that simply didn't recognize the importance of him learning and his interest and his intelligence. And there were some people in his family that actually fought against it and were trying to prevent him from learning. Um, and so the people that were kind of idle and still had their negative impact were the father and the Aunt Maggie, um, who, who both left his life in, uh, for their separate reasons, both for love in a way, um, and selfishly so. It put him into poverty and prevented him from going to school. He had to instead work a job to help his family. Um, and on the flip side of that, he has his Aunt Addie and his grandma who are actively against uh, him learning as a kid growing up. And when they go to live with his grandma, he has to go to a religious school and he is not allowed to read books. He has to occasionally physically fight uh, members of his family to try and stand up for himself um, because they are so against him learning. Uh, and it's part of how his family was raised. They have been the subject of racism that has guided them away from learning um, telling them that black people shouldn't be getting that sort of knowledge. Um, and instead of pushing them off to religion, which is what the bottom quote is talking about, Wright is upset about that. He is, um, instead of supporting religion, he's better known for dismissing it. Um, and it's dismissing its emancipatory potential and emphasizing its role in the disciplinary network of subjection. Um, so instead of it being an opportunity for African Americans to have a source of freedom in their lives, it's really another way that the white people around them um, were forcing them out of literature, just as Wright describes. And um, so, and that ties into the top quote, which is the objective of Wright's critique of the black community is not to place blame on the black community itself, but to show that a racist system produced the way of life that was forced on black people. Just because the people that are really holding him back in his life are black, it doesn't mean that it's really their fault <laughs> or their fault at all, to be honest. It's the way they were guided and that led to this point um, that has just been passed down. It shows the trickle down effect of racism. They were taught one way and now they're fighting for that. They are fighting to prevent him from learning. Um, and the man who is almost a man, it's slightly different. Um, one, he's not searching for an education. He's searching for his manhood or um, power in a way. And he does that by purchasing a gun. And he ends up making a big mistake. He ends up killing. He works, on a, uh, he works for a white farmer. And he ends up killing that one of those farmer's mules. And he got there because he was neglected. Um, his family didn't see the importance in giving him their own interest. And um, it's shown through the dialogue and to the fact that even though the boy, Dave, is punished by the white farmer, um, he's being forced to repay the price of the mule, his father will also punish him. Um, so he's kind of getting, he's getting a double whammy 
and when in reality, it's the community's fault. You know, <laughs> he shouldn't be the one that's punished. They're the ones that killed the mule in reality um, because they didn't support him. Dave, as a kid, didn't get any attention from his community um, in what he wanted. And the quote on Jim Crow, Jim Crow insists on black men's natural efficiency as men and necessarily all also demands that they adhere and aspire to the social code established for the conduct of men um, is describing a total you know unfair policy uh, black men have to carry themselves the same way as white men but <laughs> uh, that does not mean they get to the same privileges and um, and it kind of carries over his Dave's father never had the chance to feel like a real man and so he doesn't help his son in that endeavor he doesn't give his son that attention um and just like richard in his memoir he's he feels held down by the community and all the people around him he has to stand up for himself and he does that with the gun um and yeah they're very intertwined they tell a story of unfairness and um, the trickle-down effect of all the racism around them it goes through the education and straight down to them, um, <laughs> and it continues to have an effect. You know, they both had to stand up in the world. They had to stand up by themselves uh, to get to a different point from where their parents and their fellow African Americans were. It just shows, you know, they are the min minority in the minority. Um, it's very unfair rule world.